Look at the beautiful Metolius River. We're here hiking West Metolius River Trail here in Central Oregon. I just went to Candle Creek Campground. Now I'm heading back to Lower Bridge Campground, which is where my trailhead was. This is a little 3.2 outer today. My third hike today, so I had wanted to come and capture this section, which I hadn't captured. So, and I had never actually really fully explored Candle Creek Campground, so I'm glad I did. So, now I'm hiking back to Lower Bridge. I'm actually my third hike today. I'd want to attack this on to doing the Subtle Lake Loop and the White Just Overlook section. So, my final hike for today, when I get back to the trailhead, I will be done. Do about nine or 10 miles, give or take, from everything I've done. Gosh, this is beautiful. Look at how clear that section of Metolius River is. That is beautiful. That is pretty epic. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Since I just checked it and looked at all the sites, I'm in a frame of mind to discuss the campground. I would say the biggest pro is it's very well spaced campsites. I'm not a fan of campsites where they're right up on top of each other. I've been to a lot of places where they're like, you know, right up in each other's business. <laughs> and I'm not a fan of that. I, that will actually be a deal breaker for me. I like more of the private secluded feel. So didn't have that problem. It was very well spaced. And I would say my order of uh, ranking of the sites would be number six is the best. And I think the reason for that, it's at the very edge of the campground. So, um, and this campground is the edge campground of campgrounds. So on the edge of the edge of the whole area, and it kind of has its own like quote unquote backyard where you actually can go down a little section and there's a confluence of a creek running into Metolius and you get a pretty epic shot of Metolius. You could take some chairs down there and just hang out there. And it's like your own private river experience and it's kind of situated. So it feels like it's the backyard of spot six. So it kind of feels like it's your domain so to speak. So if I got six, I would go down there and hang out and enjoy the river kind of enjoy your own private river area that nobody can see or have access to, but you, um, that's pretty cool. And then I'd say spot five is second. It's got, um, a good section where you're overlooking a pretty epic section of Tullius river. So similar thing, you can put your chairs and up against the river and you're above it. So you're looking down on it and it's a particularly gorgeous whitewater rapid section. So that was pretty epic too. Those I think hands down were the two best, six and five. I would rank four as third. It's similar to five. It's got a section where you can put a chair and look down the river. It's just a little less pretty than five. So still a good spot though. Um, I'd say six, five, four are really the only three high quality spots there. The rest of them are kind of non-special we'll say not knocking them i mean if you like if you like camping i'm sure you'll have a good time but the other ones are pretty basic sites keeping it real so my mantra when it comes to camping is like if i'm going to recreation.gov and booking a site and i'm going to go camping for my party i like to i like to really get an awesome site like to me that's a big part of the draw i like to be right on a river right on a lake epic mountain view whatever it is depending on the state and the situation I like to be in an epic spot. Otherwise, I, or at least personally, don't really see the point. To me, it's less ritualistic. I'm not just like, I wanna go camping because I wanna roast marshmallows. That's not, I mean, I like those things, but it's not just about that. I, I wanna actually go to a pretty epic spot. So 